I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that that mission saved the church. Joseph Smith had shown the most remarkable courage and the most remarkable prophetic insight in the trouble that they were having in Kirtland with the failure of the, of the, of the bank, the international economic crisis. He had every reason to keep his closest friends nearby him, and he did the unthinkable. He sent them all to England. This is where it was in Great Britain that the concept of a quorum of the Twelve took shape. They did not have Joseph right at their elbow, and they had to do things as a, as a Twelve, if you will, make decisions, the decision to publish the Book of Mormon, the decision to publish the hymnal. After these initial baptisms in this pond, it, by 1850, there were more members of the church in Great Britain than there were in all of the United States. And eventually they started to emigrate, and of course they emigrated by the, by the thousands. For Elder Cook and I, that we're thrilled to be here with President Ballard, where we've got a beautiful picture of a eager young Russell Ballard uh, proclaiming the gospel to some heckler. <laughs> uh, and uh, that has very, very tender meeting for us now that blow these many years later. Uh, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for him in many ways. Uh, we wouldn't, he's our quorum president and we feel about him the way those, uh, those early missionaries felt about Brigham Young uh, as uh, he led their quorum. So, so President Ballard leads ours. And we love you, President. We love you with all our heart. It means everything to Gwen and I to be here with you. And uh, the kindness that you've shown in inviting some old has-been British missionaries to come and, and be with you as you've stayed youthful, we've gotten old. <laughs> <laughs> this pond has uh, helped change the history of the church. This farm uh, has uh, played a role in, uh, in the destiny of the restoration.